Okay, so what I'm going to do just to test this thing out, I haven't quite got it pieced together yet, but uh, I'm going to put it on this pipe here. It's about five and a half feet tall, uh, and I'm not going to mount the antenna on the pipe. Uh, you'll see. But uh, drilled a couple of holes, put a couple of beefy uh, screws right through the bottom of it. I doubt that'll pick it up, but um, then I'm going to fit another piece of uh, this galvanized uh, conduit right here. It's a 10 foot hunk of it. And I'm going to stick up inside there. That'll get me about 15 feet in the air at the base of the antenna. So uh, at that point, the antenna will be about 32 feet straight up. And uh, one thing I'm a little worried about are these palm trees. Probably won't be able to transmit through them very well, I'd say the least. But I will show you that uh, the idea here is actually I'm going to be putting them once I get the thing tuned up I'm going to put it up there and replace that uh, Comet CHV uh, 5 hopefully that's the idea anyway um, that doesn't work out actually what I might do is uh, stick it on this edge of the house right at the base of this uh, balcony thing, have the uh, pipe run up, and then attach two 10-foot uh, sections of conduit. See what that does for me. Uh, I'm just trying to get it a little bit farther away from that antenna, the uh, satellite antenna, because when I do key up on uh, 40 meters, it uh, makes my satellite go wonky. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing done. Okay, so when you do mount this uh, to, well, to the mount, <laughs> uh, you'll know you got it right uh, based on the relationship of these holes to the mount itself, because these holes are what you're uh, attaching the ballon to. So these wires right here. So basically, you would just want them straight up and down. If you're looking right at the, uh, the mount, uh, we're just going to take. They give you a couple of little tiny nuts or screws, rather. Just going to. They give you two nuts for this. First one is just to hold the screw in place. The second one is going to be to hold the ballon to the uh, antenna leg. Do that one. And we'll do the other one, get them tightened up, and, uh, and I'll show you getting this thing connected to the bracket. Okay, notice that uh, these bolts have to stay out before you can uh, get these pipe in the bracket, so we're doing that now. And it might actually even be easier to. Uh, Put these on the pipe, then put it in. That was kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, get these tightened up. And uh, that would help if I turn it that way, huh? Okay, so this is kind of how I ended up finishing it up. I probably should have done this, I have it upside down. Probably should have done it upside up. But that's why I'm doing this video, so you guys can learn from my mistakes. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put on these small nuts again so we can connect the ballon wires. And uh, in the instructions, they say the long one, the long of the two antennas should have the red mark on it connecting to the ballon. Well, the ballon doesn't have shit for markings on it, so I really don't know what that means. Um, but then again, theoretically, it's just a uh, wire, theoretically, so we'll get these connected, and then we're going to stand it up. 
That wasn't easy. <laughs> Things massive. <laughs> Hope my neighbors like it. Hoping it's not as directional as it looks in this position. But, uh, you know, I'm going to try a contact, so let's go get the SWR meter first. I guess we'll just start at uh, 10 meters, so I'm just going to make myself some notes here. Um, what I'm going to do is take the SWR from uh, anything that's acceptable. To me, acceptable is like 1.6 and below. So uh, let's just see what we get. So we're going to go down in the band, and it's already dropping really fast. So 1.7, I guess we'll start at 1.6. We have 30.3, we'll call it 37. 7. Down to, and then we'll climb it back up to 1.6. is 28.75. So actually that tells me that the antenna is a little bit short on 10 meters. We'll see what the actual, the perfect resonance level is. Here we have it, 50. Well, I'm going to go with this number here. It's a little more exact. All right, we're at 50, which uh, is matching the line. One for uh, SWR at 29.65. So. 655 uh, that's the that's the uh, resonance level of the antenna so uh, I made a note of that and now just continue on we'll go to 15 meters now that's uh, 21 megahertz See what we get there. Okay, so we're gonna dial down into 1.6, which is 21.45. That's the top of the scale. 21.480. Pardon me. Dip it back to 1.6 is 21.145. Five. So that's perfect for 15 meters. Uh, let's see what uh, 20 meter or 15 meters. Pardon me. Uh, let's see what 20. Or pardon. Uh, let's see what uh, 20 meters is. Yeah, it's going to be down here. So let me write 20. And let's see the bottom range is uh, trying to find that 1.6. SWR. It's a uh, 14.2. And the high end back there is 14.3. 40, call it. So it's not, that's pretty low actually. But the bonus is it looks like the uh, 
antenna is resonant right about the same place. Eh, let's see. Not perfectly resonant. Uh, you see the resistance at 50, way up there here, at an SWR of uh, 1.4 at 14,315, 15 that is. I know this is probably fascinating. Huh? And then let me just go quick to uh, grab 40 meters. And you can see already that it's way, way too long at 40 meters. So uh, what we do there is just that last piece of the antenna that we screwed in where you saw me measuring it. Uh, they're saying uh, one, uh, pardon me, 15 kilohertz for every centimeter that you shorten it or lengthen it. So it looks like we're going to, uh, let's see here, we're resonant at uh, 7.3, well, so call it 7.04. So we want to try to shorten it up by about uh, 100. So that would be roughly I don't know, a few inches off of both sides. So uh, I don't really, I really want to pull that thing back down. I think it's tough. So uh, I'm going to get this thing dialed in and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. It'll be up. Yeah, I can definitely see a significant improvement. Uh, I can actually hear stuff on uh, 20 meters where I couldn't hear anything before. Kind of coming and going, but uh, show what it's like. Here's my antenna tutor. I'll switch antennas, and that's what I was listening to before. That's what that CHV uh, up on the roof that I showed you, the uh, Comet CHV5. Uh, switch back to uh, this H42 or 422. It's a lot of more QRM, but uh, I'm actually getting signals now. So that's encouraging. Let's turn it off. Turn it off. Go to the other antenna. Mm. Nice. So uh, let's check out uh, 70. Or uh, 40 meters, rather. Really. Looks like there's somebody around 180 here. good signal. Uh, I will tweak it and maybe I'll do one more video uh, when it's uh, up in its resting place and uh, maybe I'll do another test whether uh, I like it more in its V formation or if I uh, lay those ends down and uh, go for a full-on dipole. So anyway I appreciate you guys hanging with me. It's 